Your, your background, you know, like where we, we you came from. I know that you were you were born in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Born in Tokyo at a very tender age. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> but I, I lived in Tokyo for uh, until I was ready for college. I came, went to, I came over to the state for college. Right over here. And, uh, Can I bring it to you? Uh, our college was in Shanghai, so I mean, high school was a boarding high school in Shanghai. That's mm -hmm. where I met Thank her. Thank you again. And so we started going together. I was in the ninth grade, and have never significantly dated anybody else. So, just about ninth to have grade. our seventy-second anniversary. So, 72 years of being married, and yes, how many years work. of being together? Uh, probably 80-some. 80 80-something 80 years of being together, wow. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Yeah, it was good. She's a wonderful. She was born in Shanghai. So, so, yep. so, you, so you're Japanese and she's I'm Chinese. Chinese. Yeah. <laughs> See my slant eyes. <laughs> when we went to the to the uh, Napa uh, courthouse to get a marriage license, uh, we were fighting China. I mean, we were on the Chinese side fighting Japan, and they noticed that she was married in Japan, born in China, and I was born in Japan. They said, "Well, are you going to be fighting then?" <laughs> We've enjoyed it life. Yeah. Pearl Harbor was December 7. I was drafted with 14 others at our small college. And on you know, the one day, they had a, a special service, a chapel service for us when we went in there. And uh, I was a buck private, of course. But they were just starting up the reception center at uh, Monterey, I mean uh, Pacific Grove. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were anybody that had any education at all, could type or do anything uh, in a clerical work, they were just keeping. So I would just kept right there. That's as far as I got to the, uh, to uh, being sent out sometime to a basic training point or anything. So really was not a basic training that you went through? No, never had a day of basic training. But the big, pretty after a few months, the war started to get pretty tough. And so I, I had found out that from some of my buddies that I had known in Japan as a boy, were doing this super, super secret work in Washington involving the Japanese language. So I got busy and got them to order me to go to Washington. So I went to Washington, and uh, by that time we were married, and so we, our first real, real home was in Arlington, Virginia. And uh, you, 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 you actually had rapid promotions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went, went, went from uh, Buck Private to? Buck Private uh, to, I finally staff sergeant and master sergeant. That, that was a very nice. That was a nice rank to have. You don't get any guff from the officers or <laughs> or uh, the enlisted men. I was anxious to get home at a certain time because she was pregnant with our first. Oh, okay. And due about Christmas time. Mm -hmm. And I 
definitely wanted to get home, but I didn't quite make it in time. But I, and my uncle said, you know, if she's that near due, when you call her, she might get excited and and uh, may, may make her go into labor. But I did anyway. <laughs> And, uh, and I went into labor. And she went into <laughs> labor. She went into labor and had the baby. <laughs> so I sent her a very brief telegram saying, "Congratulations! I was important. I was. I'm glad it was important, and I was able to be there at the laying of the keel, but not uh, not for the launching." <laughs> yeah, it was more, more important for me to be there at the laying of the keel and not the launching. <laughs> That's good. So then we went to other states in Washington, D.C. I still didn't have enough point to get out. So. I was doing some kind of non, doing nothing kind of work for a while, but I had every night off and so I took a couple of courses at uh, George Washington University at night school and finished off my pre-med and then hmm. finally I went to medical school at Loma Linda. Hmm. That is great. And it was a not objective type. You had an all over the essay. Even in English my writing isn't all that good. <laughs> oh, but that's I, for sure. I was so glad when I passed. So, so so in essence, uh, you have a, a medical doctor's penmanship. Yes, he definitely does. <laughs> Somebody said, it must be a real good doctor because he can't write. <laughs> <laughs> so, and by the way, uh, I don't know who did it, but somehow it was, it was even in the papers over here with it, I was <laughs> in, in the L.A. Times. Really? That I passed. <laughs> Yeah, so you, so you have a medical license. Well, you 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 had one in Japan, and you went, you had one in the United States, right? Mm -hmm. And you had one elsewhere. I had one in Canada, Great Britain, Singapore, Hong Kong, and uh, Japan. Boy, can you imagine oh. that all those medical all worldly. Uh, yeah. So you, you practice medicine for how long? Well, I started for practicing when I was a resident, that would be 51, 51, 51 to 87. How, how many years is that? That's a lot. 51 to 87. I was 87 years old. You were 87 was, years yeah, old? but it was 87, but it was... Uh, uh, and how, 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 how old are you now? I'm uh, 94. 94. So he practiced yeah. um, all the way to 87 years yeah. old. So that's actually a long time. That would that would be 2007. That's quite a long time. Yeah. Keep it, keep me out of mischief. And <laughs> so would you say that was just keep going in terms of if if if, if you love your career, just keep going at it. Would that be? I think it. I think it's important if you're doing something you like, and it's something that's it's rewarding, not from money wise, but from satisfaction. Maybe it's a little ego. Mm -hmm. We all have a little ego, sure, and that has to be satisfied a little bit. <laughs>